These images conjure up ideas of tradition and times of old. People may think of horse-drawn carriages as something that's quaint or perhaps romantic. But this is anything but. Nose to tailpipe, stop and go traffic. The horses are forced to endure daily near misses of traffic crashes. Sometimes they don't miss. These pictures show what happens when traditional times of old meet the modern era of one of the world's biggest cities. No horse should be forced to, to parade up and down congested traffic, weaving in and out of taxi cabs and, and trucks and, and tourists. This is a recipe for disaster for both people and horses. It's unsafe, it's inhumane, and it's a throwback to the past. An independent audit conducted by the New York City Comptroller found the horses are not provided with enough water and in the summer risk overheating on hot asphalt. The horses are forced to work year round. In a city like New York, the conditions are just too tough on horses. But no one here seems to notice, and while the horse, who's often elderly, is only supposed to work a maximum of nine hours a day, those laws are not enforced. So customers looking for adventure keep getting in the carriage, putting the horse through another agonizing trot in harsh conditions. Unfortunately, the cruelty doesn't end there. When the horses are returned to their stables, they have barely enough room to lie down, essential to achieve a deep sleep. And even if they could lie down, there's not enough bedding to make it comfortable. The comptroller also found that the horses are forced to stand in their own waste because of inadequate drainage in stables. Horse-drawn carriages do not belong in congested cities like New York City. For these horses, there is no reward for the misery they're put through. And the Humane Society of the United States wants people to know what they're getting into when they get in a horse-drawn carriage.